Hello everybody, hope you're having a good Wednesday. My name is Jillian McMullen and I am a founding business contributing partner with Vanessa Cromer. And I have the privilege of doing a Facebook Live in this group. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different today and talk to you about Facebook Lives and the four step formula that truly has helped me grow my business um, more than anything else. And I've been in network marketing for four years, actually four years this month, but I partnered with a new company um, three months ago and I att really attribute um, Facebook Lives to why I was able to have 3, 000, over $3,000 in personal sales volume my very first month with this new company um, to Facebook Lives. And I, and I know that in this particular group, we are all um, really doing at least one common thing, although we all have different backgrounds and maybe different interests, but we all have one common thing and that's we are all building a business and we are all female entrepreneurs. And when I the topic of Facebook Lives come up, I know that some of you probably get really excited about that because maybe you've been doing them and you you know the only way to get better at them is to just keep doing them and some of you probably just panicked when I talked about doing Facebook lives and how they've really helped me and probably if you want to do face if you want to grow your business online you kind of have to do them and um, I've been doing them since Periscope came out which Periscope, I don't even know if it's still around. I think it is, but Facebook really took it over as they tend to do with every social media tool that comes out. Facebook tends to come along and, and uh, dominate. So it's been a couple of years now, at least maybe three years now that live video has been out. And I truly believe that it is the best thing that has ever happened to um, entrepreneurs and definitely network marketers. So I wanted to give you four steps that can really help you master how to do Facebook lives and and um, I need to put my computer on mute it's underneath me um, and how it can really help you grow your sales volume and also because um, I can remember when I started doing network marketing I wanted to do things online and it just was very difficult to get people to to have that no like and trust factor and we know that in our business and whether it's network marketing for you or anything else if you want somebody to buy something from you it's really a lot easier when you have that no like and trust factor um, established and it's it happens so much faster when you have live video because people feel like they know you um they, they know you um i think that many of you in this group i have met maybe once if at all, and I feel like it's those of you who go live that I know you and I've it, and I've never really met you and it's because of the videos. So um, the first thing that you wanna do, and you'll notice I, I did it right off the bat with this video, was um, to introduce yourself. Um, even though, and it sounds silly, um, even though your name is right there when you're going live on Facebook, there are people that will totally shut down and not be able to watch your video until you say what your name is. So right off the bat, you just say what your name is. And the interesting note for you network marketers is, and it took me a long, long time to notice it, to, to get this part, is to just say your name and you can say something quickly like what you do, like what you normally talk about. So for me, normally it's, my name's Jillian, I talk about nutrition and weight loss. For a very long time, I used to introduce myself, my name's Jillian, I'm a registered dietitian, and I'm a weight loss expert. I stopped doing that because if you are in network marketing, you don't wanna be an expert. It's not duplicatable. And we wanna be duplicatable. And so we want our team members that come in to feel like they can start doing Facebook Lives and not have to be an expert. So. Now I might say, I'm Jillian, I work at a hospital. I'm Jillian, I talk about nutrition, and then leave it at that and move on. So that's the first thing to do. Um, the second thing is immediately state the question that you intend to answer. So my name's Jillian, uh, I talk about nutrition, and 
do you struggle with nighttime sugar cravings? Um, you That's your hook. That's going to give people the... Um, the reason why they should continue to watch your Facebook Live or listen to you. If you drone on for the next 10 minutes about, um, it's a nice day outside, hope you were having a good week, um, happy Wednesday, and then you get to the question, they're already tuning out and doing whatever. You have to assume that people are washing their car, chasing kids, cooking dinner all at the same time, and they're really, really busy because it we know that social media itself is a really distracting place and you're just coming up on their news feed so they're already battling what's on their news feed to watch you and they're battling their environment and if you're trying to appeal which i imagine i know i am a, you know a lot of you probably are too if you're trying to appeal to moms let's say they have a lot going on so you have to make sure that you immediately put that question out there and you put it in your title, but your title may not show up for them to see. So you wanna make sure that immediately you, you put that question that you're gonna answer and that it's something that is solving a problem to your target market. So don't spend a lot of time trying to figure out what your target market is, you know, you, you, but you do wanna have one. So I know for me in the beginning, I did kind of hem and haw over who should I be speaking to? Should I be speaking to to, to mom? Should I be speaking to business builders? Should I be speaking to, you know, it was, it was really, um, it, it, it took me a while to figure that part out. But once I just started going and started doing something every day, I started to kind of narrow down what worked and what didn't. Um, the, the important thing is that you just start because there are people that will spend years trying to figure out their target market instead of just getting started. So it's important that you just get started and start talking about something and that target market will start refining itself and you'll start figuring out what your audience wants to hear from you. Um, the And then number three, so we got number one, introduce yourself. Number two, um, the question you intend to answer. And then number three is your content and that's answering the question of course. Um, now this doesn't have to be something that you are spending um, a ton of time and research. It, you could Google it. Um, it truly, Google is your friend. Um, the important thing is, is that you are solving a problem for people and you are doing, you're finding answers for people that they don't have to spend a lot of time looking up. And if you can start daily solving questions for people and solving problems for people, they will tune in to you every day and they will appreciate it. Um, people are constantly looking for answers and if you can come up with just simple, I mean, there's lots of days where I will get on Google five or 10 minutes before I plan to go live and just, you know, since I talk about nutrition, I might just Google Mediterranean diet and see what pops up. And then I know that that is something that people people like and people are talking about right now because whatever the top hits are is what people are talking about right now. And so then I'll just start talking about that. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. Cite the source. Um, I promise that nobody is going to be mad at you if it's not your original thoughts. If, if you just tell them, hey, I was reading this blog and I found this information and I thought I would share it with you. Um, if you had something going on in your life that day that you wanted to share, um, share that. Um, as long as you are answering a question that you think your audience would wanna know, go ahead and share it. So that's the, uh, the number three. And then the last one is probably the most important part. And this is something that I, um, just to be completely honest, don't always do because sometimes I get busy and I forget. And, um, and a lot of people don't do and they're leaving money on the table. And this is your call to action. If you don't have a call to action, then people will, will definitely appreciate your live. You will definitely start getting presence on social media and people will definitely start knowing who you are. And so don't beat yourself up if you forget the call to action every day. But that call to action is what gets people reaching out to you after your live. So the call to action is way more than just saying, hey, share this video if you think it'll help other people. Or hey, give me a like, give me a love. 
those things are important because that does actually affect the Facebook algorithms. But the call to action is more like, it can be something as simple like, if you have thoughts on this and you know some maybe something you said i've said things like if you have watched you know yesterday i talked about a doc the other day i talked about a documentary and i said you know if you've watched this before and you have thoughts feel free to reach out to me and let me know what you think or comment below that's a kind of a weak call to action a better one is is going to be like um, if you need a sample menu, I have a free sample menu, feel free to reach out to me and I'll give it to you. Um, if you need five more tips, feel free to reach out to me and I'll give it to you. And the, you want a, a good reason for them to, to private message you because you're a networking. And so you want to start that relationship with that person. And the, the kind of the side bonus tip here is don't be at your computer. Um, tell them that when they reach out to you for whatever it is say great i would love to give that um send that to you when i get to my computer but just curious what other things have you tried to do to lose weight or whatever your case is i'm just giving you that because that's what i do and i can think of that quickly but if you have a service or whatever um you know maybe it's debt service so just curious um what are you trying to do right now to manage your debt and you know i'd be happy to send that you know five ways to get out of credit card debt when I get to my computer and then you start a conversation with them and you start finding out the need how can you help them with your product or service and you'll be surprised what happens when you start turning these leads into prospects into customers um, so there you go um, your four tips introduce yourself question you tend to answer the content and then don't forget that call to action um, that's the one that I have to work on actually is that call to action and I actually do have a call to action for you today so um, if you do need help with content ideas I actually do have a free document see what I'm doing here I have a free document with um, 10 sources of content ideas and you know places to get your content from and it's actually what I the sources I use so that I never run out of content I do go live you know at least four to five times a week so you, you've got to have places to get your content and uh, and these 10 sources is where i look to every single day so if you want that free document i will be happy to send it over to you otherwise um hopefully you got some value out of this um and feel free to comment shite um like and share if uh you know other people that would benefit otherwise have a great rest of your day and i will talk to you next time bye